Welcome to Ontario. That means we're in Canada. That is a really, really big ship right there. Hello world, it's your Uncle Heavy. Today I'm on location in St. Catharines, Ontario, Canada. This behind me is called the Welling Canal. Today we're taking kind of like a spontaneous Canada trip day where we're gonna start up here. This is lock number three and we're gonna chase this canal down and maybe stop at some of the other locks and check out a few parks. I don't know, it's one of those spontaneous vlogging events. So don't know what's gonna happen today. We'll just kind of play it by ear. So no tickets required. Let's go see what kind of trouble we can get into. Do you come along? It's like this a giant wheel for opening the bridges and cable spindles to run those cables that open the bridges. And this is a lock. Looks like there's an observation deck we can go up and see what's going on. Looking out over there, that's the high side of the lock. Yeah, and there's the lower side. Wow, look, that is a, that's a very large lock system right there. You can see off in the distance, yeah, there's a yeah. pretty large sized boat tied to the side. I'm not sure if it just came out or it's on its way in, but it's just kind of sitting there. Now this is only one of eight locks that are along the canal. I don't know how many we're gonna get out to visit today, but this is a great starting point. Here's a nifty little sign detailing all the various destinations that a ship might be traveling. These are in nautical miles and we could see like New York City's right here and Buffalo is right there. Melbourne, Australia. Wow. That's a bit of a journey. Singapore, Rio, London. We can go to London by through here. A couple of anchors here. I'm always impressed by how big these anchors actually are. Looks like they have this museum here too that we can go in and check out. Let's go inside and see what it's all about. This looks like a model of that lock that we were just at before and you can see we were right about there. This is a model here. It shows you the depth of Lake Erie as opposed to the depth of Lake Ontario and just the surface of the lakes and the amount of distance it needs to drop to cross over. This is compares to the Statue of Liberty or Horseshoe Falls. Right now you can see Michelle is actually standing in the middle of one of the Great Lakes there. I, I believe, I can't see which lake that is. That's, oh, that's Huron. So Michelle's standing in Lake Huron right now. And we're over here in St. Catharines. Right about there. A couple of interesting exhibits here. There's a soapbox derby car and soapbox championship here. Pretty old pumper from the St. Catharines Fire Department. Some helmets and badges here too in the fire department. Nice REO motor car here. <laughs> the fuel tank on the back. The St. Catharines Museum and Robin Canal Center will be closing in 30 minutes. Please exit through the lobby and the front door. I do love the old cars. I do love looking at these old cars. Old fashioned diving suit here with a manual pump that they used to use during the construction of the canals. Some crew ships here. Rowing that is. So this is kind of touching on a vlog that I just did in Cleveland. Whether you may or may not know, a lot of the filming was done here in St. Catharines for the Christmas story here. And here's some props that were actually used in the movie. The broken glasses and then this was from the scene where he went blind from the life boy. And although this is a, a Red Rider BB gun, it's not, definitely not one of the screen used ones. It's like there's a copy of the script here too. One of these days I'm gonna have to go out and track down those locations here in St. Cats. Not today. I'm gonna have to look up what the history of this Hotel Russell is because that looks interesting. Looks like there is a ship coming through as we speak. Let's see if we can get a spot up top and see. Wow, look at the size of this ship coming through. 
It looks like an empty cargo ship. Quite impressive to see this size of a vessel come through this little docks. It looks like he only has six or seven feet clearance on the other side there. He's moving pretty fast too, I mean. Yeah, I'd say he's moving pretty fast. Yeah, it's definitely some pretty tight quarters there. Imagine being the helmsman on this ship, having to steer that. Looks like there's some sort of a counter over there. I wonder if that's the amount of feet or distance they have till they hit the front door. That's the wheelhouse up there. Very carefully moving this through. That, that's a full-size container ship that's behind me that they're going to rise up to let it go through the next five locks onward. It's pretty impressive if you think about it. Now we're just waiting for those gates to close on the back side of the lock and you'll see these water levels start to rise. Looks like it says 1.5 so I guess it's almost completely in. It looks like the gates are now finally closing. The back side of the lock and we're gonna see this ship rise up. Never ceases to amaze me how cool these are. As he's finishing up pulling in, I brought the old GoPro with me and we're gonna do a time lapse of the rising of this vessel in the lock. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, even in real time here, you can see that rising up. It's going really fast now. Look at how fast that's coming up. Oh yeah, she's definitely coming up high. Gonna be looking at the hull of this ship in two seconds. Pretty much everything that you use in your day-to-day -day life, drive or wear, comes over on a vessel like this. Remember we were looking down at the surface of the ship? Now this is actually getting higher than I am right now. And that's it. That is at its fullest height. You can see the water over there on the gate just about to the top. Very impressive. So here we are up on the top deck and you can see how high it is now it's incredibly incredibly high this is really impressive piece of machinery to see something like this and how this works I have no idea the displacement of gallons or what the actual height change is but it's very very interesting to watch there's a control bridge unbelievable how big these vessels actually are and it looks like the gate's open on the other side and it's going to be sailing away any second. And there she goes up the canal, on to the next lock. Maybe we'll catch her at the next one too. Nope, it's the name of the vessel, the Captain Henry Jackman. We're gonna film this. Here's a tunnel going under the canal. See, well and canal. Very, very 
nifty effects. And just like that, we're out. Next destination, this is Port Promenade in the city of Port Colburn. This is a cool little town area here. I've never been out here before. It's just kind of nice, very quaint. So this is the canal side. It's a nice little pub. I think we're gonna go in there and get a little bit of dinner. Just look at this martini that Michelle got. I'm boring, I got a Coke. I've got what's called the Chick-fil-A sandwich, which is a fried chicken thigh. And of course, fries with poutine. And Michelle got a pork, pulled pork sandwich. She got the poutine too. I mean, if you're in Canada, you have to get the poutine. It's a must do. I don't know how messy this is gonna be, but this looks really, really, really awesome. Mmm, very, very messy. But, poutine, look at that cheese. Look at that cheese. Amazing. So you could see there's a ship going by just outside the restaurant here. It's kind of cool. This is called lock number eight. Wow. I do love, I don't know what the, what do you call that? You don't call that a drawbridge, like a suspension bridge or a, it just says bridge 21. Anyway, the kind of bridges that go like this instead of like this. They're very cool. This here is either the end of the line or the beginning of the line, depending on which direction you're going. Now, it's kind of hard to see, but if you look over that clearing out into the open, that is Lake Erie. Going back that way is the way we came. But they do have this nice little walkway here and all these cute little rocks. And Michelle doesn't want to be in the video today, so she's, she's right there. Looks like they got a tug docked here, just in case. You never know when you might need a tugboat. Yeah, there's the tug just kind of hanging out, waiting to be called into service. So this is cool, although it's not the same ship that we saw earlier. It's very, very similar in size, and, and you can see this one's just kind of sitting here to give you an idea of how incredibly large it is. One cool thing about coming here, I like how the signs are just slightly different here than they are in the U.S. Just subtle differences. You can definitely tell it's the end of the summer season because this area is completely vacant. Yeah, there it goes. Now it's opening. I just didn't give it enough time. That's kind of cool to see. That must mean there's a big ship coming through. Let's go up pretty darn high. I wonder if this ship here is gonna go through. He's waiting for that blinking red light to turn green. That's gonna do it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I really enjoyed making it. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to stay tuned for the next episode coming really soon. Till next time, signing off from Port Colburn, Ontario, Canada. Bye bye.